so there's a lot going on and it's going to come down to a few groups there's the trial that for the most part is happening before a lot of other characters do anything they're doing the trial stuff and then they're going to go to exploring but then there are characters who specifically are not involved in a trial and are exploring so those characters likely will arrive at those locations that they're 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 exploring sooner than others and then others who specify that they want to go with someone they'll probably wait for everyone else but uh, then you have characters that are staying in the location and doing other things so yeah there's the trial goers there's the trial there's the explorers and then there's the trial goer slash explorers who are doing a little bit of both um, which gives us an idea of our time you know the way time is going to work because there are some characters who are doing some prep and some things that are happening prior to the trial so we're going to have pro we're going to have leading up to the trial the trial and then after the trial and in regards to conflicts there's there's plenty of conflicts so darren long swift he wants to keep peace among the rogues uh, he's going to work he wants to he will work with willem he's looking he may end up working with willem denise lazuli zanera and skinny but of course, only if they don't harm any innocent people, which they aren't. And he's focused on protecting others during any conflict that could happen. So, you know, there's some conflict there. Oiji Raz is going to be seeking out the parents of the two orphan children, Del and Elle. And he plans to create a safe haven in, um, for them and influence a lie to lead. Uh, and he's playing a political shadow game and his other goal is he wants to interrogate the artist for dark knowledge skinny wants to bring the arts to justice and enforce a severe penalty of guilty and he is working with darren denise and possibly others after the trial to go east for resources and stuff denise de carolingian plans to attend the trial she's going to head east as well but she's going to pretty much be providing some security during the trial and we use non-lethal force for crowd control. Eden is not interested in the trial or leaving the settlement. She's focused on establishing a facility for rogues within the settlement for gathering and healing, quest, you know, and business. Zanera and Ayanga wants to repay. So I'll have to, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll inject. I gotta make sure I get scenes in there of, of showing these things in between like, you know, the more, the tension filled parts. Eden or Zanhara and Ianga, they want to repay a debt to Samuel and they will be giving an account at the trial. Uh, and then they also want to join an expedition beyond the settlement and use Ianga's power if they need to. Um, Sky aims to understand the darkness and wants to find other beacons of light. She opposes torture and plans to travel into the darkness with the group after the trial. Willem Toth, he wants to gain knowledge from the artist's soul, and he plans to attend the trial and use his abilities to learn about the darkness, and he wants to explore darkness uh, potentially with the group. If not, I'm pretty sure he said he's going alone, but he wants to go north, if I recall. Father Edmund intends to join a resource-finding group to the east, uh, and he's going to use his abilities to guide and protect the group, and his real goal is to understand his mission and learn about the maiden and... Uh, and see if she, if she, if she's the vo the voice behind the winds, and to see if maybe him and and Maximoria are of the same cause. A lie, voice of the warband, is focusing on breaking Samuel Andrews, which I'm not sure is how is gonna how that's gonna go because Samuel didn't mention anything about having an urge to, to uh, torture, and there's a possibility that the character, the player, uh, the character has been misleading a lie into thinking that he is bloodthirsty and maybe to kind of throw her off you know off of his scent like oh maybe he is a you know a violent man like myself um that could be happening and he was successful because she is focused on breaking samuel andrews by influencing the population to demand his torture who's gonna do the torture though sam not likely we'll see uh, he had a list of things death torture wasn't one of them he's against torture i think a lot of characters were asal wishes to explore the wilderness to understand the impact of the artist's rituals and seeks answers about the darkness and she might be traveling alone nazareth plans to liberate and control the artist using his abilities 
and aims to gather warriors and use his power strategically in combat. Definitely a civil war going to happen. Samuel Andrews arranging the trial of the artist intends to protect the artist until the trial's conclusion and will respond based on the trial's outcome. Now, the trial's outcome is going to be crazy. Is that going to affect who still goes? Would you still go and explore and stuff if there's some shit going down? That's what's crazy. So we might have to time it so that shit doesn't go down until the that people have left. And Nazareth said that he's going to be doing he's purposefully going to be searching for the best time to do it. Sounds to me that it's going to be when a lot of the people are out. They could come back to a gruesome site. A message. We'll see what happens. Father Maximori seeks to further the maiden's influence and in planning spies in various groups in searching for a sanctuary for his followers. Lazuli, Lazuli Maure attends the trial with a plan involving a true serum, and she is going to head north into the darkness after the trial as well. Now, did, did Nazareth say, I'm trying to figure out the conflicts here. So did Nazareth say he was going to raid the trial or whatever the best time was? He just says, I'm going to liberate the control of the artist. I will use my intuition and luck also to wait for the best time to attack and sabotage the trial, catching enemies off guard. So he's definitely going to be attacking the trial. So, yeah. So Darren's peacekeeping is definitely going to clash with Elian Nazareth's goals. Darren, Sam is not going is is peace they're peacekeeping there's gonna be no torture oiji's political manipulations you know i can see there being some conflict with fa what father maury's trying to do later down the line denise and skinny's focus on justice and security at the trial is going to be they'll be working together obviously conflicting with nazareth willem and oiji you know they might clash because they're both after knowledge one person's going to get to it and it's already going to be drained at this rate and Eden and Zanera, their community focus efforts could cross. All right. So Darren Longswift working to ease rogue tensions, pacifying Nazareth and the lie if possible. He wants to work with Will and Denise. All right. Darren Longswift. Darren tries to keep the peace between growing tensions between the rogues at camp. Keeping peace between tensions. He tries to prevent Nazareth and the lie from doing anything rash while trying to placate them as well. Prevent, de-escalate Nazareth and Eli. He will work together with Will, Denise, Lazuli, Zanair, and Skinny as long as they don't attack. Should the artist be executed? All right, hold up, be right there real quick. We'll work with the good guys. Will, Denise, Lazuli, Zanair, and Skinny as long as they don't attack innocent people. Should the artist be executed before there is a trial, he will be upset but he will not lash out unless a massive fight breaks out, to which he will try to separate combatants to try to protect as many as possible. He tries to prevent Nazareth and the lie from doing anything rash. All right, I'm going to make a section. Okay, all right. So we got, we'll have pre-trial, yeah, before, before trial, trial, post-trial. All right, Darren Long Swift, peacekeeping, preventing Nazareth, preventing Naz... Liar. Working with Will, Denise, etc. Get back to baking. Oiji, find the parents, reunite, or adopt. Set up. Regardless, he needs to find a place to settle down. He'll want to find a place that he can become a safe haven for himself and those he deems worthy. If the boy's parents aren't alive, he will seek to adopt and take them under his wing, specifically finding a place they would like and that allows him to train. Set up. Order, order of events. Boy G, speak with Will, Ally, Ovas. Prop up Ally as one, as the one to lead the masses. Prop Ally. Boy G is a deceptive and and bold one he tries to play the political shadow government game shadow there we go shadow government shadow government gaming trying to influence a lie and others to his point of view whilst pandering and feeding their egos feed ego he wants to talk to wilhelm about speaking with the artists about speaking with artists speak with artists get knowledge information before trial trial post trial private during the artist trials oiji will advocate for the man's death he will push to have the artist released 
He will push for the artist to have he will push to have the artist released into magical custody. Is it death or custody? Which one is it? To be taken away and then mur killed later? Will advocate for the man's death. He will push to have the artist. He would advocate for the man's death. He will push to have the artist released into magical custody. Those that understand the dark arts are far more capable. So he'll push to have him. He will push to have the artist released if if he isn't sentenced to death is how i'm going to interpret that so advocate for death if alive keep in magic custody there we go i get it now Ovaz kalea Ouija will work to find some time alone with the men and find time alone and finally Ouija wants to begin studying deeper arcane truth and arts however that might look However, that might look or shake out. He will start by questioning the artist. Question dark arts. If there's nothing the artist can offer him, Oiji will head east in search of rumors and magical knowledge. He wants to be able to outfit the warband with magical weapons. He And he wants to manipulate and learn more about the magical the artist created, hopefully using it to create powerful weapons. Okay. So we know that that forest is what's east. Oiji will look for something magical in the forest to see if there's anything about the forest he can discover. Roll for magic found in forest. Oiji looking for something to benefit warband a la magic weapons. We'll have him find Ellen Bell parents, reunite, adopt. That'll be before trial. Propping up a lie will be as well. Speaking with a lie, feeding ego, for trial. Some build up. Fair trial. All right. Skinny says fair trial. Hearing all that of the evidence. If artist is found guilty of global genocide, ensure the harshest punishment that the world has ever seen publicly. Guilty, harshest, public punishment. Skinny will use all skills and abilities. Mixed with brilliant group tactics of buffing, debuffing, and healing to ensure justice is done without error. And fight to the death if need be. After the trial is completed, head out to the darkness with Darren and hopefully Denise and maybe others to do cool stuff. If we don't know what we're doing, I'll volunteer our labor towards getting gathering wood. If we reach enemies, I'm stacking post trial denise she intends to attend the trial then head east venturing out into the darkness at the trial she will be near skinny and defenders of the wall and will provide security she will assume there will be at least one person wishing to see the artist to an, to an extra show in before the proceedings start so she's security she's with darren put her next to darren skinny before the proceedings she will use prayer of battle to buff PCs. Attending their trial. If any other PC or NPC attempts to take justice in their own hands, prayer of battle will affect them with a debuff. This is a good counter to, to Nazareth. She does not need to see or name them, but it only takes effect once they take action. There will be a prayer of prosperity as well. So we got some prayers, prayer buffs, argumentsy. She will not be upset with the use of mortis speech as a source of proof against the artist. After the trial, if there has been no or only minor incidents, she will request to use divine intervention to place a seal of judgment on the artist as the first part of his sentencing so that after his presumably lethal punishment is meted out, he may not be resurrected. Oh shit, would that mean, would that seal his soul too? She may need to request a buff, a debuff from Skinny in order to place the effect at a high enough level. She would not be able, so her and Skinny might work on sealing his soul. She will not be able to use divine intervention for the rest of the day. They're uh, gonna seal him up. They're gonna seal him up. After the trial, she will depart east for the main goal of protecting the group and exploring the darkness to survey damage done to crops for us. She will be very worried or concerned when she does not recognize any of the land, but not panic. If attacked, she will use spells in combat. Da, 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 da. Other strats. Eden, establish new facility. Hopefully she has an ability that allows the, the ease of establishing something like this. If not, We'll roll the dice and see how that goes. 
regardless where roll the dice. She's keen on establishing a new facility within the settlement and has her set her eyes on a dilapidated tavern for this purpose. If the tavern is available for redevelopment, she eagerly takes on the project. Otherwise, she searches for other vacant space. Her goal is to create a base for other rogues, a designed spot, a designated spot for them to get supplies, rest, eat, new facility, sleep, healing, work. She is the mediator. Lacking personal funds, she seeks support from settlement's leadership, arguing that the community's survival hinges. Seek support. Her expertise and knowledge, diplomacy, and healing should bolster her case. I agree. Her expertise and knowledge, diplomacy, and healing should bolster her case. She has no aspiration to be a leader when necessary. She offers valuable advice to authorities through anonymous letters, disguised in her disguise spell. In addition to serving as a base of heroes, the established divisions will function as a healing center and library for the settlement. Library. I imagine healing will need to be done, so we might see her later. Zanera's first intentions is to repay the debt owed by Samuel by help, for helping protect her during the miasma. During the trial, she is in attendance and hoping to give a factual account. Factual account. Her time in the hospital and, and the interaction so far made her a known face. If asked about what she thinks should be done, she states that their ignorance is the biggest danger she sees. They know nothing of the darkness. They know nothing of the darkness or the spell wrought on them. She would suggest interrogation of the artist. Her altruistic nature would make her uneasy about his torture and subsequent death, but she must admit it is necessary. Ayanga doesn't care. Trial, she only knows the, the, the elemental sees the artist as a wielder of power. And, uh, if those around take i can see a scene where because there's going to be some influence and in some swaying of the people i can see ayanga's voice you know playing a part if this is if she truly has a different take on the artist that might come out honestly based off of the manipulation that's about to happen even the artist is going to be attempting to manipulate so it's important that ayanga's voice is noted the elemental sees the artist as a wielder of power and had every right to exert his will over the universe. If those around take exception, they should just exert their power, in this case by killing him. Her morality doesn't stem from lives lost, merely that the artist failed to prove himself powerful enough to shield himself from his consequences, so his end would be a simple solution. She would object to any kind of containment. That's important. That is important. Once the events of the trial have conducted, Zanera would keep an eye on the hospital. She would feel restless to do something to improve their position and find out more. Also, she's going to help with the hospital. You could put that in the beginning and in. Zanera wants to help hospital. She knows she's no great warrior, but it seems obvious to her that she should be part of an expedition beyond the settlement. For any explorers, it would surely benefit from a healer. It would let Ayanga not feel quite so contained either and feel like they are being brought in. She would gravitate strongly to groups containing Will, Eden, or Sam. So I don't think Sam's going anywhere. But Will's going north, so she might go with Will. Travel with Will north. She would ensure she was prepared with tinctures and potions that may be needed. And if anyone is in desperate need of healing, she could use Ayanga's power to supercharge her potion to make its effect quicker. This That's probably how she'll end up helping the hospital. Supercharged potions. If there's danger, she'll give Ayanga the wheel. With a group, with a group allied with her, she won't be so eager to flee, but will be happy to show off her power and lay waste to a threat. If there is a protracted battle she is in danger of becoming exhausted but Zanera is an unpowered state would stick close to the others better and we know there's not going to be any fight out there so maybe I'll have her mention it like some inner monologue since she's kind of like introverted trying to get out there outside of the fight if their exploration uncovers resources or mysteries she'll be keen to learn more and see what can be brought back to the settlement prioritizing anything that increases its chances chances to sustaining them for a long time her first instinct is to try to keep those around her safe and they become when they become harmed and if they encounter anyone that's hurt or afflicted she will want to help Ainga cares more for Zanera's person personal safety the, 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 the two beings you know. oh, it comes out. okay definitely a good uh, information right there because they're going to find a bounty and she's going to have her eyes peeled for that stuff that they miss sky 
figure out what's happening, what causes the darkness, and to help others, other beacons of light within the darkness, find other beacons of light in the darkness. Sky rises from sleep, fully revitalized from the sky, rises from sleep, thanks to a will mill, wheels by mill, meals by wheels, meals by will, and goes with will to jail to learn more about his darkness this darkness via sitting interrogations if allowed interrogations sits in on interrogations i didn't know interrogations were happening if any torture is attempted she will staunchly protest protest torture if it came to it sky would be more than willing to cut her hand using her dagger to produce a bolt sword to intimidate others not to commit such heinous acts that means that Oiji's going to have to ask for privacy, not only from Will, but from Sky. She will attend the trial itself to glean as much information as she can. No matter what happens at the trial, she will be willing to travel into the darkness with Will. Oh, so she's going to go with Will. To, she's going to go with Will, Denise, Skinny, Darren, Azuli, and Venera to discover what lies. She, she wrote Will first, so she's with Will, so it makes more sense for her to go with Will. So she's going to go with Will to the north. Sky, travel with Will to the north. I really hope things that, that whatever happens at um, the trial doesn't happen too crazy to the point where no one's going to want to go anywhere afterwards because they can't. We'll see. Will's goal to gain an upper hand in dealing with the, with the darkness by subsuming the artist's soul and gaining his knowledge, ultimately imprisoning the artist's soul and using it to find another settlement in the dark. Willem rises early, well rested from his night's sleep and his meal the night before. He heads off to jail to meet with Sam Andrews and anyone else who arrives early. Will meets everyone who arrives early. Will is strongly opposed to any private meetings with the artist. Strongly opposed to meetings to private meetings with artists insisting that he is dangerous enough that he warrants at least two individuals in any interrogation, but likely more. Willem also expresses interest in learning the artist's true name, seeks true name. Willem will attend and observe a torture, not intervening. Who's doing the torturing? No one, no one has said they're torturing. I keep hearing about torture. Is it Oiji? It's Oiji. Is that what he meant when he said, you know, Stooping low. Tactics that stoop low. That's what I'm starting to understand. Yeah, I think Oiji said that. Oiji tactics slash torture. Will sits in on torture tactics. Sky and Will. But Oiji is going to be crafty about it. And might have to, might need to persuade that it's not torture. When it might be, you know how Oiji is, he wouldn't tell you. Should it come to that? If asked, he will ask if the town keeps a rogue's ledger or if someone remembers him from before he took on the moniker. Seeks to ledger, ledger. Once the trial begins, Willem will use his seance ability. Will use seance ability. Voicing the dead speaks in favor of the dead for public calls for execution. I'm sure most of them will call for his execution. I don't even have to roll for it. Willem will speak in favor of a very public, very immediate execution. Uh, oh, immediate. Immediate. Claiming he is tired. Before taking his leave, he'll claim he's going to go rest because he's tired from hosting all the souls. Instead of going to rest, he's going to find a quiet, secluded nearby area and bring back, use death sense to time the exact moment of the artist's death and immediately seance the artist's soul into himself. His intention with timing is to subvert any other attempt to banish, bind, or destroy the artist's soul. So he needs to go do this before Denise and Skinny seal the soul. <laughs> Willem will use the artist's true name if possible and any other boons he can get from other rogues during the prior. Yo, so having the true name will ex may ex expedite the speed at which he can do this. What an incredible player. If he did get true name, speed boost to get soul before seal, before Denise's seal. Does this happen before Will Seance roll? Once in possession of the soul, Willem will rip through the rogue's mind, learning any knowledge 
pertaining to the darkness. Da, 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 da. And then he will head north. Father Edmund. Father Edmund will join the group going east into the darkness. Father Edmund will do his thing. Merge, whisper, seek answers from the wind about the maiden. Is it the same? Let's roll. We'll roll it. Also ask for a mission. Help others find resources by guiding them from the darkness. All right, a lie, a lie influencing populace before and during before trial, calling for torture. If Oiji is successful in killing the artist before the trial, she will call on Skinny to repay his debt and resuscitate the artist. But he's not going to kill him unless something that really bad happens. If all goes according to plan, Samuel Andrews will be surrounded by the populace, crying and begging for the artist to be flayed alive by his own hands. And all she has to do is just watch. He's the judge, but I don't think I think he wants you to be the executioner. If Samuel Andrews holds his resolve and does not torture the artist, a lie will be disappointed. She will leave the trial and plan his death. Influencing people to call for torture by Sam. Specifically, she wants Sam to do it. That'll be part of the ask. If Sam Andrews holds his resolve and does not torture the artist, a lie will be disappointed and she will leave and plan his death. Asa wishes to wander off and attempt to decipher exactly what the artist's dark ritual's impact was. She plans to do this by exploring the wilderness, keeping close and uh, I mean, we'll find answers. If she will take bolder moves and dive further into the unknown. If possible, she will seek an ally or two to accompany her. Just in case there are any evil entities, and, but, if, but if no one's interests fall on, she will go alone. After finding her answers, she will seek shelter from the nearest settlement. Let's see if there's a character that would be willing to go with her. I'm going to find a character that didn't specifically state that they were going with Will. I think Maxim Mori would accept her help in, in, like, in a manipulative way. Maybe try to get her to come to the dark side. Because he's going to look for a new location. He will be using shadow travel to search for a sanctuary for the followers in the settlement in a private safe house well no it'll be a private safe house so he'd probably do that alone what about lazuli she's going north there's really no one else so i guess she would go alone and because she's not saying any specific place it can't be north it won't be east she wants to go it, it's gonna have to be wherever nazareth doesn't go because he's going to a new location in the end too so it's so either going to be west or south and this is from the jump too like she's wandering this can take place at the start we'll start well yeah i wanted this in the beginning he sal wanders west new location wants to explore impact of darkness and we'll check in on her again in the end nazareth liberating the artist during trial in preparation he's using luck and charisma to find competent allies and competent warriors specifically to find powerful warriors that fought in previous battles to aid in charisma to, f to ask villagers if they can replace his blade with anything Warriors plus seek weapon improvement from villagers we'll have to roll to see if that's you know he's lucky too so you never know um, prep for prep scout for traps the uh, intel or this network he has this this minor network that he has at the moment i'll use intuition and luck to wait for the best time to attack at this time for attack when engaged in battle i will use my luck and combat ability to overcome if Samuel was one of my enemies, I would choke him into unconsciousness with his own chains. <laughs> also, once it tear out any, tear out, tear any other rogue enemy I dealt in half to display my savagery. Tear and slash main and choke Samuel Adams, Samuel Andrews. Once free, I'll clear, once free and clear, I'll order the artist to use magic to block the town off, cutting off new area from others and allowing me and all those who follow to pass to fast through to the new area. So we'll say south. If successful, escape to new area south. Artists blocking followed. Sam Andrews, as soon as possible in the town square and chains. If Darren would agree to head Samuel, he'll focus more of his efforts on the trial at hand, no matter what, though he will 
continue to keep an eye out for trouble. His inability to trust will compel him to take as much as measures as possible. So he's definitely going to have help from Darren. So Samuel has help from Darren to facilitate trial. If anyone helped him, the Arden before the criminal will stand will grudgingly protect him. The trial commences to be declared. They won't trust anyone. So protect all costs. Sam's reasonings are called into question, and he cannot bring the crowd to just say the fair verdict. If Sam's reasoning are called into question, this is specifically for it. when Allied starts her old bullshit, he's going to need to counter persuade the crowd to allow Darren or Skinny to the position. And I think Skinny will do the torturing if you let him. He will not in any circumstance allow Nazareth, does he know, or Allied to take that position. During the trial, Samuel will call willing witnesses to come forward and testify for or against the artist. He will not discriminate against anyone who wishes to defend the artist, even though he believes him to be guilty. He will also allow anyone who wishes to ask a question to ask questions with the artist to do so. If someone gets hostile with their questions, Samuel will ask them to step down. If by the end of the trial, Samuel will ask the questions. When the trial is concluded, Samuel will address those present to vote on the artist's sentencing. The following is how Samuel will respond. So pretty much every character said what they would, you know, where they stand. The dead are not present, but they are testimony to it. They're, they will be added testimony. Or well, technically the dead are present. There's a lot of different verdict outcomes for Sam. Ultimate verdict and outcome. Maxim Mori, before Maxim does anything, he will consult the maiden using his unholy connection. Maxim Mori consulting with the maiden. This is interesting. He says, he says, Maxim will also ask the maiden to give Father Edmund a sign to work with her and Maxim. That, that doesn't say prove to my uh, help prove to Edmund that you are who he follows. It's almost like he's saying, look, whatever he does follow, if, if it's not us, either way, give him a sign to tell him to follow us. And have him think that it's us, not help him see the light and who to truly follow. It's help him follow us. Maxim will also ask the maiden to give Father Edmund a sign to work with her and Maxim. Two patrons of darkness will be better for furthering the maiden's goals. We'll need to see if if there if his God, if this other God, the wind, the wind is God enough to give a sign stating that it exists as well. Or possibly they are the same thing. We'll have to roll for all of that. Roll to see if the wind and the maiden is the same entity if not roll to see if the maiden's sign overshadows the wind's sign and go and we'll build on that the maiden may mislead father edmund we'll see the maiden for protection of God. he will follow the maiden's wishes all right and he's going to roll for roll for guidance existing location father maxim will begin utilizing the followers of the maiden to further the maiden's influence into the tower settlement maxim will implant cultist spies through his novice's council uh, his war band so we're gonna sprinkle throughout we'll show some cult influence cult spread Put some cult spread in there Put some cult spread in there Put some cult spread in there matter of fact in one scene we'll have one of the people getting ready to go to where to one of the locations and the call to say you shouldn't go this way you shouldn't go this way foreshadowing this is where this is where uh, whew, this is where maxim was look you know other location that he's going to discover will be located which we will need to figure out where it would be i don't think he said maxim will travel to search for a sanctuary for them. so just a new location this could be as long as it's outside the settlement so we can exist in one of these other areas cultists in the city it'll be in the north it'll also be in the north and that in that in that city will flag away others from foreshadowed maxim sanctuary maxim will use shadow travel the part where the cultist flags them away, that'll be in the beginning. And that'll happen to 
a sal when she goes i oh, know she's going west okay we'll keep it here this is where we'll show him in, in the new location show maxim and new location all right ovas he has questions too he'll probably be the one asking questions in the trial that'll be that'll give the artist the floor to work his manipulation ovas asks the questions when he steps ovas is going to rise early rise early observe the sunrise pray request guidance bearing in mind whatever and approach samuel he, then he will approach samuel and offer his aid in the convening trial oh he's going to help okay offers to help Sam, radiant beacon ability and attempt to offset harsh vibes of our, as well as steal himself beans. Radiant beacon to offset darkness. Radiant beacon to offset dark, gloomy vibes. Also a counter to the hate that a lie is bringing. He will use his combination of the lantern and revelation and lantern light to guide his questioning and interpretation of the artist's answers. Damn. He gonna get that good, the good answers. Just as an example of why the lantern might be useful, if the artist were to have some sort of hidden tattoo on him, on his person, Langston, uh, if over this land entertain the answers, he will summon on your shirt, but he will remain in, in observe trials in regards to where his artist lives. Ovez will follow the will of lantern. Whatever that indicates will roll. And he's gonna offer his help. Roll to see Lantier wants him dead or executed or tortured. After the conclusion, he's then going to go write a banging ass song. Lazuli. Darren offers to bring her to interrogations tomorrow. In the night, she makes her truth serum. When the morning arrives, she wakes with a plan in mind. I like that Darren doesn't really know this. And this is just something she's doing on her own. So he's like inviting her to this place. You know, to, to be in the, caught in, caught up on the loop. And she's like, plot. When morning arrives, she wakes with the plan. There was there was discourse and disagreement on whether the artist would be killed swiftly or tortured. Lazuli wanted to try her hand at making both come true. When Darren brings her to the artist, she will request to speak with him. Should he be unconscious, which he probably won't, because he's, he's being interrogated, she will pour the water into his mouth and leave. Should he be awake, she will ask a few questions and appear kind and otherwise unassuming she will offer the wine skin for the artist to drink as a token of goodwill should he drink it he will be poisoned with truth serum during the trial during the trial is really remain silent she doesn't really care what happens but she will tolerate escaping someone trying to take if someone tries to take him she will have her viper ranks ready viper strike ready after the trial she'll head north into the darkness she will use her fireman she's gonna go explore the city all right there's my order of so I, what i did was i pretty much i like to know where i'm gonna put parts of the story it's kind of like building a sandwich so that my sandwich is even and tastes good all around so there's not just a bunch of good good flavor in the beginning and it gets nasty towards the end i want to kind of spread it out know where i'm going to give people their shine you know so now I got it all organized as to who's where, what's happening before the trial and the trial and what's happening after the trial. Um, now I'm going to, this is, this is essentially my outline here. It's essentially my outline. I'm just going to organize, you know, where these events fall into play and how they'll unfold. Got the trial here. Before the trial, a lot of table setting. Then we got post-trial. Lots happening in each one of these. The goal is to not make it super long, make it cohesive. We're going to be introducing some new locations. A lot of information is going to get introduced in the trial. And then there might be a lot of combat and somebody could be getting really hurt. Now it's time to roll die. Now it's time to roll with some conflicts. Oh.